of the uh, key points with the uh, national education policy ask us to do is to that, you know, uh, ask the teachers to be more systematic. You know, you know what is the first step? Every aspect of our life, works, uh, we, we plan, we uh, work on, on a plan. From birth to death, education to job, you know, child to family, there is always a plan. If you want to go somewhere to, you know, for example, uh, Delhi or some other places, uh, we plan first that we budgeting it. You know, if you want to stay at a, someone's, uh, you know, house, we inform them that we are coming to stay for many days. And if not, you know, we book the hotel, we, you know, budget that. So for everything in life, we go as about the plan. So, uh, why not in teaching? That also needs, uh, you know, uh, planning. Uh, teaching any lesson needs a plan too. And, you know, uh, the first step into a building an effective lesson plan is to identify the portion of a chapter or lesson that you would uh, teach. And then, then comes the uh, next step is understanding the fact that the lesson plan is basically a blueprint of what you are going to do while teaching in a class. Keeping in mind the factors that are important to focus uh, on while teaching, some of the factors uh, which we can you know, address are there are many uh, factors, but the main factors are, are the students attentive? One, uh, are they able to relate and understand what you are teaching? Then the other factors are, does the topic remind them of uh, anything they might uh, have previously learned? Is the class interesting and engaging? Uh, is the medium of language used comprehend by the students? Do they understand the way you speak? Okay, and is your body language, you know, uh, uh, is appropriate? So these are all the factors which we have to implement while you know we are you know uh, uh, making an effective uh, lesson plan. So, for example, if uh, we are planning to give students homework, you should do it. Uh, you should do it too. Also, you know, uh, you have to do more things for preparing a lesson plan. Like uh, read the portion uh, to be taught thoroughly and outline the main you know, uh, points there. So with a you know, uh, uh, highlighter, imagine how would I like to start your class. So uh, there are many ways, you know, you cannot abruptly go and start your you know, lesson because there are so many psychological facts which you have to uh, uh, consider. Uh, think about the activities related to the topic that uh, that would engage the students. We have to think. So uh, elaborate the learning outcome of the students. And you know, uh, one of the things which is, you know, interests me a lot, which, you know, sometimes, you know, we're in planning, which we have to do, is using humor and puzzle in teaching. Yeah. For example, I'll give you, you know, this thing. I'll ask the audience, okay, how to extract iron from five? Five means F-I-V-E. How to extract? In this case, you make the students engaged. And when, you know, at environment, class environment is engaging and, you know, happy, you'll find that, you know, the students are more attentive. And then, you know, you need to choose uh, which skill to be implemented, 
skills like you know communication skills, creativity, enthusiasm, confidence, and many other skills are there. And then uh, you write on all these uh, steps uh, which you want to follow in your uh, teaching. For, for instance, the questions you, which you might uh, ask, the explanation you would uh, give, uh, the practical or project uh, uh, you would give to students. You know, I have also done the same thing, and I have written all the points which I'm going, to, uh, which I'm discussing. I've written, you know, in this very simple this thing. So these are the things, and then last is the final touch which you have to give. Whether you know uh, uh, this, uh, what you make is grammatically correct, and then. However, the most important factor for your lesson plan is to be effective, is to observe it, observe its application on yourself. You have to go through it. If you feel happy, then go ahead. If you don't feel happy that you know this lesson plan is not up to my you know, mark, or not my, and it doesn't meet make uh, students happy, then you have to revisit. First thing I have been, throughout this discussion, I have been talking about the way in which, how we look at different subjects. For example, when you talk about this, uh, the multidisciplinary uh, approach, uh, let us say the science group students or the science group teachers, how far the teachers are able to link the their subject with uh, similar type of or or in the same group how how far are they able to link the subject in the same group for example let us say a mathematical the, the a teacher teaching a mathematical uh, course or subject can they apply that mathematical concepts for for uh, you know to find to find out because now the the whole world is running with mathematical modeling and that mathematical modeling itself is uh, the applied mathematics where we we understand how far the infection will uh, increase or how can we stop the infection so the solution is to find out or the uh, the objective is to find out how to solve this problem but applying the mathematics so now mathematics is being applied in the health healthcare or life science how is it possible how far the teachers can do that so that is that is one way in which you try to bring in uh, you know multidisciplinary approach within the same discipline you have multiple subjects and you bring in those subject to one one platform and let us let us assume that you you take a theme uh, the the best theme i always cite is the current data that is available in the internet now you have all the all the you know whatever you want it is uh, whatever you want under the sun it is available in google you just do a Google search and you get the thing. So uh, if you are able to link, let us say uh, an English student wants to write some uh, analysis on the, the COVID news, how many fake news came in and how many real news came in and he is doing an online research. So that will help them to help them to get not only just the research skills, but also yeah. how to utilize that internet. So utilization of internet is very, very important because kids are getting much, much more, more smarter than the teachers because they have their mobile phone or the gadget or whatever, and they're able to find out any data. So how is it possible for us to engage them effectively by giving them demanding type of assignments? For that, as again, again, I should say that the educators or the teachers, they have to be ready. So th this is th this way. This way, if you are able to engage the children by training the the uh, the teachers in the right way, and somebody was uh, in the chat box. Somebody said that the the whole business model has to be moved out. Uh, you know, from the school perspective. So my my uh, take on that is: see, when you bring in this integrated approach, uh, if you are able to bring in. Uh, technology. For example, now all almost all the teachers, maybe 99.9% .9 teachers are aware of Google Classroom. Maybe mm -hmm. one, one year before or two years before, Google Classroom was there, but we were not aware at all. Now, how is it possible? How is it possible for you to utilize that platform so that you get time 
to invest in more and more research and more and more studies so that is how we should think of so this integration is not just about integrating subjects together but integrating subjects and technology together so that the teachers will get effective time for uh, you know to study more and more because the, now there are a lot of certification programs so if you are able to bring in such kind of courses in as the part of you know uh, the the performance appraisal yearly performance appraisal the school and if the teachers themselves are ready to take up such kind of certification programs online programs online courses that will bring in more and more light into how to integrate this because again again let let me let me tell you uh, a visual media student nowadays can create a movie just with the help of a laptop so how is it possible because of technology there is no nothing else required because now we see that uh, the, the the whole film producing is going to ott platforms everything is now released in amazon so what will happen with the theaters to, uh, the, the theaters so the, the the way in which we try to solve a problem so mm-hmm. this is how we can bring in different type of uh, you know disciplines together to one common theme as i as i early mm-hmm. uh, earlier cited one example let us say those students who were able to raise the funds for the covid patients or hospitals let us assume that mm-hmm. they want to distribute equally so that it reaches the right audience how do they analyze it how can they find out mm-hmm. the right hospitals right patients so all these are problem solving skills and if you are able to bring in one theme a project right. to solve a specific problem because if you if you take now pollution is the biggest issue here traffic jam is the biggest issue here water scarcity is the biggest issue here digital divide is biggest issue here nobody is able, you know even now uh, there are there are around 30% of the students who are not a- able to access the online education how you solve it so this can be this, this kind of problems can be solved only if you are able to bring in integration and a teacher cannot confined herself for himself to his subject alone that is very very critical no. and very important and uh, as an observer uh, a teacher has to be an observer so observing the surroundings or observing the society they should be able to come up with the problems that problems can be given to the students and let them apply mm-hmm. whatever they have learned and try to come up with the prop- solutions for the society with much much more values so i believe that to conclude i believe that such kind of integration uh, again i will come back to the the same road construction told by uh, dr deepak it will add values it is not just integration it, it will add values to the way in which the students think mm-hmm.